So I just got home uh, from a 50 mile, 55 mile drive and I thought I would use my company's thermal imager to do a couple experiments. This one's kind of interesting. Um, the edge of the brake disc rotor was saying about 200 when I first pulled up. So we're going to pop the hood and take a look at my cold air intake here really quick. It's not really cold air, but it is a short ram intake. Take a picture of that section right there. There you go. Okay, and then take a look at this. And um, you can see, we'll let it calibrate a little bit, but in the engine area around it, here's some of the mechanicals on the transmission, the transmission itself. The transmission's about 100 to 115 degrees. Um, some of the mechanicals are 115, a little warmer. If we look at the exhaust, we'll let it calibrate here. The exhaust should be pretty hot. So it flashed about 300, 350. And if we go back to the cold air intake or the intake, um, what we're seeing there, if I back up a little bit, you can see it's pretty cold from, from the areas around it. Um, it's bouncing around because I'm cold standing here in 44 degrees and I'm shivering. But you can see that pipe right there is reading about 35 to 40 degrees. And the cone filter itself about 81 degrees. So all in all it actually keeps it pretty cold. We got 60 degrees going up the pipe. And then as it gets into the tracting for the engine it's getting up there in temperature 100 degrees or so. I'm actually looking at the cover plate right at the moment. And that makes sense because I have a Trinity sensor or a Trinity uh, Diablo Sport uh, tuner. And its intake manifold sensor does say as I'm cruising down the freeway that uh, it's a good 100 degrees or warmer. Um, but I think that's a pretty good temperature. I mean, you could see a couple hundred degrees in there if we didn't have this colder air intake. Okay, here's a, another couple little views, 160 or so on the back side of the engine and some of the things there. There's the bypass hose, it's only 90 degrees. As we come around here, again, the pipe itself, pretty cold, reading basically what the ambient air temperature is, and that's just pulling in after 55 miles and then popping the hood. And the comb fi filter again. It's starting to cool off. This side of it is cooler than the other side and that makes sense because the radiator is right there and it's reading 90 degrees or so on the back side of the fan. Okay, so we're going to try one other little thing. I uh, keeps having to calibrate because the temperature ranges inside the engine compartment are so different. But I'm going to, you can see the comb filter is cooling off pretty fast. The pipe, though, is pretty close to the 40-45 degrees that we saw it at originally right through that section. We're going to start it up. No, we're not, because apparently it won't do it with the hood sensors up. <laughs> but uh, that will give you kind of a look at what's going on with this cold air filter. And then just take one more look at the filter without... There you go. You can see there's nothing specific to trying to route any cold air to, up to it or around it or avoid the radiator there um, but just by having it not snake through a big air box and all the bends and coils it seems like it's helping to keep it colder